So you're in one of those classes where the teacher gives his students lots of trust and freedom. But one day you manage to fuck that up, only for yourself though. How you did that is having the great idea of doing something that you're not supposed to do that you think is very minuscule, but what you did not realize that the second you committed that minuscule action, it would lead to a whole shitstorm of events. Hey guys, Ashton here. What is of the hyper level orientated perspective? Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the time I pierced my ear in 6th grade in school. I don't know what possessed me to slide a needle through my unpierced ear, but here's the story. So here I am in 6th grade at the end of the day in this class. I say this class because currently I'm in 12th grade and this took place in 6th grade. So that's like five, almost six-ish years, so I really don't remember the class name, but I do remember what it's about. In this class, we would do some sort of creative, hands-on building thing. To show you what I mean, the last project, we had to build some sort of soda bottle rocket, which was fueled by water. Pressurized water, that is. Like, we took these, like, soda bottles, and, like, we attached, like, cardboard fins on them, so when they were shot, they could fly up as straight as possible. And we would attach the wings using hot glue. And later, when the rocket's complete, we would launch it into school's field using water pressure. That was the type of class I was in. See, this teacher was pretty young so he was pretty relatable and he gave the class quite a bit of freedom and he would let us children us sixth graders curse sometimes like he was that type of teacher he was so chilled and laid back like everyone liked him like I'm pretty sure like it's very strange to say this like really strange but I'm pretty sure that some of these 11 year old sixth grade year old sixth grade year old sixth grade girls had some sort of crush on him he was that teacher so as i was saying before it was nearing the end of the day in that period my class was doing a different assignment than the other periods and what one of the periods had they were like making this things with like needles and stuff i don't know why they needed them but like needles were like pretty much everywhere on the countertops really accessible so this rather popular dude with his group of friends he takes a needle or two because i think he had both of his ears pierced and put the needles through his ear and at the end of it so that it does not stab his neck he put an eraser from a mechanical pencil onto the point of the needle and some of the other boys with pierced ears they start following him doing the same thing see they were popular kids so I guess I was trying to get their attention I have never had my ears pierced but I came up with the absolutely brilliant idea of taking a needle and shoving it through my unpierced ear for their attention or recognition. Mostly because they reminded me I could do the same thing with my unpierced ear. With the needle because I got a flashback when the other dude put the needle through his ear. The needles in the classroom looked very similar to how the needle looked in my memory from when I was a much younger kid. In this memory, I took a needle similar to what they had in the classroom and I shoved it through my unpierced ear. It didn't really hurt that much. It was like really easy. And I'm not too sure at the time if I like sanitized the needle before I did it. No, I most likely did. I have a bit of common sense. Not too much because I'm piercing a fucking needle through my unpierced ear again. But that's what I did a few years ago. One day before that day in sixth grade that I'm telling you about. So I remember this cool little neat trick thing I could do if you could even call it a trick from when I was younger. So I get a needle from one of the countertops in the class. Then I rounded up all of the popular people and I asked them if I could stick this needle through my unpierced ear. They said no I would not and then they snapped their attention away from me. Then I told them to look again and their attention snapped right back. Quickly, making sure the teacher was not looking, I put the needle in contact with my earlobe. Then I slid this needle through my ear. Instantaneously, I tell you, a wave of cringe rippled through all of them. All of them just let out an ooh as if they just watched someone get their balls kicked in by an NFL kicker. Okay, before I go any further, I'm not that stupid. I actually went to the bathroom or something like that to wash like the needle beforehand 
or like I put hand sanitizer on it or both, I knew if I didn't do that, then my ear would have been fucked. One kid was like, this n-word is crazy. At that point, since the needle was in my ear, it was like already a makeshift piercing, but it did not stop there. I took the needle out of the pierced ear, then I switched ears, and I did the same thing, if my memory serves me correct, because this was like a long time ago, but... I'm pretty sure it happened like that. So that day ended and no one snitched. So the next day comes around and in the same period, I did it again. See, all of the times before, each time I took it out, there has never been any blood. This time, when I went to take out the needle, it started bleeding. At first, I did not notice up until a girl in the group said I was and her eyes widened and she was like, oh my god, you're bleeding. Then another dude said almost instantly something along the lines of, holy shit, you are bleeding. But they said it quietly enough that the teacher did not hear and turn around to see this kid, me, with blood dripping from his earlobe. I then quickly walked across the room to the door in such a way that my teacher would not see my ear when I passed by. Since I was in a panic, I grabbed the door handle and told my teacher I needed to go to the bathroom in a shaky and alarmed voice. I'm pretty sure that seemed very suspicious. He said I could go, but he said it in a manner that made it obvious that he was concerned. Quickly, I left to the bathroom that was about two or three classrooms away while making sure my ear was not seen by any students or teachers in the hallway as I was cupping my ear. But if my memory serves me correctly, having my ear covered was a precaution. There weren't many students in the hallway. When I got into the bathroom, I rushed for towel paper. And I had also noticed that there was this other kid in there with me. I was looking into the mirror while holding the towel paper on my ear. A, that rhymed. From time to time, I removed the paper towel to see if I was still bleeding. In the process of doing that, the boy I noticed earlier started to ask me questions. He questioned why my ear was bleeding, and then I said I pierced my ear with a needle that I found in class. We talked more than that, but I don't remember what happened. Eventually, he left. But before leaving, he said, you crazy. Exactly like that, I believe. Also, before the kid left the bathroom, he saw me throw the needle in the sink to the left, out of three sinks. So finally, when my ear stopped bleeding, I headed back to class. I head back to class, thinking everything is fine. The teacher asked if I was okay or not. But right beside him, I saw the boy who was in the bathroom, and he wasn't in my class. Right there, it clicked too, because the teacher was standing up and everything, because the whole class period, he was like, sitting down. I believe okay so here's where my memory gets really fuzzy so I know the kid was there I know he snitched but the thing is the teacher explains how the boy came up to him with these accusations so he started asking if these were true and I was trying to lie to get my ass out of trouble then the kid brought up the needle that I threw in the sink I don't know if the guard was already there in the room or like if it was called down but some guard was called down to inspect the bathroom to see if the needle actually was in the far left sink and sure enough the security guard comes back with the needle and that's enough evidence and I'm still trying to lie to cover my ass even though there's hard evidence that I pretty much did that so now I get sent down to my guidance counselor where I get questioned some more my excuse for this hole this needle shaped hole this hole that can only be caused by a needle was me being scratched at home by a sibling in my ear and saying that it's a scab that's been picked so that's why it was bleeding so my guidance counselor obviously picks up that this reason is bullshit so she asked me to show her my ear she pulled out her phone and started dialing my number that she got off of the computer from the school system saying I'm going to call your house right now while the phone was ringing she asked if my ear has been pierced before so I gave up on lying and I said no probably because she was calling my house at that very second sure enough my parent picks up and and my guidance counselor explains everything that happened and what I told her. And then my parent replies, saying that I've never gotten a scab on my ear because of my siblings. So there I was, completely busted now, even though I was busted in the first place when they came back with the pin. But this time, I got written up, then sent back upstairs to my class. I had to spend like maybe like a day in in-school suspension okay back to what i was saying so the teacher pulls me aside after i re-enter the classroom he looks extremely disappointed i mean like 
you can tell it's clear on this guy's face. While looking disappointed, he says to me, you lied to my face. Like, I could tell he felt so deceived. Rightfully so, because I was being dishonest. After that day, he did not trust me around pins. So, since the pins were, like, everywhere in the classroom, when I got near them, like, he would, like, come close and, like, move something with the pins away or something like that, or tell me to, like, get away from there. It was bad see now this guy he teaches a class when you get up to eighth grade i'm assuming it's the same class but on a higher level and probably all people who took that class in sixth grade is supposed to all be in that class in eighth grade keep in mind when this happened i was in sixth grade when i got to eighth grade i didn't have that class at all yeah it's a very clear that he never wanted me as a student again because he did not want to have the risk of a student doing something stupid like that again but don't get me wrong aside from that i'm a goody two shoes in school except for not doing my homework other than that i was a well-behaved child so later that day i got home and i heard it from my parents honestly i don't remember what happened but i know i had a good talking to on why not to shove needles through your ear in school now final thoughts looking back on this number one i should have stopped the first day if i didn't keep on going and i did it the next day then most likely I would not have been snitched on and I would not have been in so much shit. Number two, I don't like the kid who snitched on me cause you think I'm bleeding out from the ear, you think I learned my lesson cause after that happened, I don't think I was pretty much ever gonna pierce my ear with a random needle again. Oh god, my voice went weird there for a second. Number three, if I'm trying to throw away evidence of me doing something bad, like I should make sure at least it goes down the drain or it's like buried under piles of paper and shit in a garbage can and not just leave it there for it to be discovered later i can't actually believe well i i can't believe it because like it's not too great of a thing but like i actually stuck a needle through my ear in school out of all places in school not at home with a group of friends showing them my neat trick making them like freak out because they think it's like super painful while it's really not but out of all places in school so guys that was the story of when i pierced my ear in sixth grade and did not think much of it until i got fucked because my house got called and i got put into in school suspension so if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like comment down below what you think rate and subscribe you should really subscribe so that's been it this has been astrin and i'm out have a good one